So here we are on our avenue. And I figured I'd stop and talk about this for a second. I don't know if the wind is going to be bad. But this used to be... This used to be an industrial plant. An uh, industrial manufacturing area. When I first came here in the 80s, they were building... They were building cracking units. For the, for the uh, North Slope in Alaska. Here and... Over here, in this area, and every summer they would have the barge lift, and they would load these things on a barge, barge area down here. And uh, anyway, it was quite interesting back then. That over there is the building where there used to be a sawmill, and there when I worked in that building for a while, and there was a smokestack outside that cracked during the earthquake back in, oh, when was that? Early 2000s. The Squally Croak, and they had to demo it. There's Cap Sandy up there. We're going to go up there in a little bit. I'll show you that. Out there is the refinery docks, and there's a super tanker from Alaska in the bay. And behind it is Hat Island, and then over there we have Saddlebag Island. And that little piece out there is the east side of Wemus. Okay, so moving on. Well, you saw the road we just came up. We're on the north side of the Anacortes Forest Lands at a place called Little Cranberry. Little Cranberry Lake. There's two lakes in the Anacortes Forest Lands. This one. And then off to the southeast is Whistle Lake. People like to come up here and go fishing. And you can see it's man-made. Here's the dam. And you can get an idea what the forest lands are like. This is one of the areas you can drive to. And uh, this is Little Cranberry. Not to be confused with Cranberry Lake that is not too far from here, uh, down at Deception Pass State Park. And someday we'll do a video of that. So, there you go. There's a spillway over there. You can hear the water. Let's go over here and see what the sign says. the map of the forest lands. There's a little cranberry. I think that's a little cranberry. Oh, wait a minute. There we are. You are here. If I can read the map correctly. Here's a trail off. D Avenue to A Avenue, is that what it is? But there's a trail entrance here, and I think there's a mine in here somewhere. I don't remember. Anyway, this 
is in, of course, forest lands. And you can get a map like that of all the forest land and all the forest land trails. I think they have it at the local bookstore in Anacortes. And maybe the Chamber of Commerce. Here we are at the bottom, at the boat basin, at the Cap Sani Marina. We were up there at Cap Sandy at the top. Here's the boat basin. This is the north side basin. The main, main entrance is over there for all those docks that run that way. Transient moorage if you're coming up here by your boat for a few days. It's on the far side. It's a nice marina. There's no gates so the public can walk down on the docks. That over there is the old snag boat. It was owned by the Army Corps of Engineers. So that used to ply the rivers around here and get all the snag logs out back when the rivers were navigable. Back in the early 80s I watched them bring that boat from the shipyard over there and brought it up on shore and then a moving company came and moved it to this location. It's now a museum. You can go on there. This over here on the north side of the parking lot the brand new RV park. It's so brand new it's not even open yet. I don't know what the issue is. There's the building. The all restrooms in there. So this all used to be a gravel lot and and they had gravel no services camp spots all the way around here and now they've made a right proper campground you can see they all have full hookup nice pad I guess they're gonna have picnic tables there but yeah I don't know why it's not open yet should be it's pretty nice Here we are down at the main docks for Cap Sandy Marina. Harbor Master's office is right there where you pay your transient slip fees. We were just over there a little bit ago. Cap Sandy's up there. Anthony's home port's there. Along with the Cabana summertime restaurant. These first areas here are always the broker boats. Transient moorage would be out on that last dock over there.
Okay, here we are at the top of Mount Erie. You lost it? Yeah. And it's crowded up here today. Parking lot's full. It's a nice day. Everybody wants to be up here. Okay, this overlook looks out to the to the south. Must be all everybody out hiking or something because they're not here. This is why this place is so popular. That's Campbell Lake down there. This is looking south, a little bit southeast. You can see Hope Island right there. It's a state park. Deception Pass, we'll see that over. Well, we'll see where it is over here. Can't see it from here. So that down there is Pass Lake that you drive by on Highway 20 and then go around the corner and go across Deception Pass. Cornet Bay is a little sliver of water there. Deception passes through there. Woodby Island Naval Air Station down there. Puget Sound over here. Straits of Juan de Fuca out that way. Olympic Mountains. Port Angeles would be out there. Port Townsend would be down through Admiral T Inlet down there. And you can see it's a beautiful spot up here. Yeah, look at this. People put locks. I don't know why. Skagit Valley down over there. The Skagit River will dump in down that way. LaConnor would be over there. So, this is Mount Erie. Yeah. We'll stop down, down that way and look out to the west. Oh yeah. Forgot to say, this is a popular spot for hang gliders to jump off right here. Out that way, cleared the trees. They'll land down there in a field somewhere. Lots of rocks up here. Here we are going up to the west side overlook. Which is getting overgrown. Used to be no trees blocking this view. You can see here right now close distance is the uh, skyline.
off in the distance of the San Juan Islands again. So we're going to walk down here and look at this place. So this structure down here, I think, was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps back during the 30s and 40s. We'll go over here and look at this map. So here we are. You can see where it says Bowman's Bay. And that dock right there, it's Rosario. This trail here goes over to Bowman's Bay. We might just walk over there. So we'll go down here. There's actually two beaches here. One inside the cove and one on facing west. wind blowing today. So out over there, around that corner is Deception Pass. This back in here is Bowman's Bay. There's a dock down there. If you see way off in the distance, that's Woodby Island Naval Air Station. It's a nice dock you come in here and moor on. Oh, there, you can see Bowman's Bay over there. Looks like there's, are those mooring balls they have out here now? I'm not sure. But I know they have mooring balls over in Bowman's Bay on the left side of the bay. And there's a dock over there that you can tie up to that's not connected to the shore. You see that boat over there connected to it. This you can come in here and tie up overnight, but it's not very deep here, so only shallow draft boats can come in here. All right. Come on. I got the dog with me today. I've got some footage that I'll edit in that's down here in the sunset that's that's really nice. <laughs> so here's the beach. And out over there is Strait of Juan of Yucca, south end of Lopez. This beach is pretty cool because it's got nice flat rocks on it that you can use for skipping stones. There's a trail that goes up around this rock outcropping.
have picnic shelters, just like over at Rosario Beach, that you can rent. And this here used to be a little museum for the Civilian Conservation Corps. Oh, there's another picnic shelter over there. Campgrounds up over that way. Hmm. It's open today. Probably can't go in with the dog. Okay, well. If you come to Bowman's Bay, check it out. So we were down here the other day trying to get video footage. Beautiful warm day. And it was Washington State Parks free day where you didn't have to have a pass park and it was crazy packed and we couldn't get a place to park it used to be mooring balls out here in this bay maybe they moved them over to Rosario it used to be right out here there's a shot of that dock over there you can tie your boat to and then this pier, you used to be able to go out on the pier, but the ramp leading to it is gone. But this is a nice little crescent shaped beach. It's a lot quieter here today. So this beach and the beach over there, around that bend, is part of Deception Pass State Park, like I said. And it is the only part that is on the north side of Deception Pass, which is through there, around the corner. And um, the rest of it is all on Woodby Island. They do have one campground, which is up over here on the other side of that picnic shelter. But here they have a boat ramp. that looks like it's seen better days so mostly it's used for launching kayaks and such and you can uh, you can walk around the corner over there and see a deception pass And then there's trails that go up on that rock hill over there. I think. It used to be. So, yeah, this is Bowman's Bay. So, that's a brief synopsis of some of the highlights of Fidalgo Island and Anacortes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.